So the management of CAR T cell um, toxicities, of course, um, you know, could probably uh, merit you know many um, many lectures, and and there were many lectures at um, Ash twenty twenty. Um, uh, looking specifically at that, and it's it's I think a whole area of uh, of experience all its own. Um, the immediate um, toxicities are, of course, um, cytokine release syndrome and the neurotoxicity. But uh, a more of a long term toxicity is the hematologic um, issues that can come about. And so, uh, one thing that we um, do advocate is long term following of um, immunoglobulin G levels, uh, because with the CD19 targeting, often patients have hypogamic globulinemia, which can lead to increased risk of infection. Um, but I, I, the hematologic toxicity with low counts um, for a long period of time um, seems to be more a follow along from the um, lymphodepleting chemotherapy and the combination of fludarabine and cyclophosphamide, uh, I, I think in particular, uh, tends to lend patients to um, long-term uh, low counts. Um, it may be many months before patients recover entirely. Um, I think it's important to uh, evaluate patients beforehand to confirm that there's no evidence of uh, cytogenetic abnormalities from prior um, uh, systemic therapies. So we know that our patients are at risk for myelodysplasia due to our prior therapies. But um, patients who already have significant cytopenias going into CAR T cell therapy uh, are particularly at risk for this. And you know, certainly, I have seen patients who just failed to achieve. Um, uh, recovery of their counts and remain transfusion dependent for, for extended periods of time. 